Uh, Speaks McGee, do you think MVS will take the next step this year? It would lessen the blow of losing Devontae next year. You know, I went back, and when I did my week one thing, I looked at it, and I see his grades have been so bad. I mean, I, I forgot how unbelievably bad they are, and I forgot how much... You want to talk about an overrated player. I talked about a lot of Bears fans and all these guys being overrated. Packer fans massively overrate MVS. They always have. They've always said he's way better than he actually is. I am a little bit optimistic because the reports have been so good about him. Um, so we'll, we'll see. I, 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 If I had to put money down today, I would say no. Not that he doesn't slightly improve, but that he's going to be a legit, like everybody's like, whoa, this guy's really freaking good. Um I would guess that doesn't happen. I'm hoping that he takes a step because we don't need much. We have enough weapons everywhere. And again, the Packers usually win because they spread out. They, they have so much talent in so many different places. Like I said, one week, Devontae wins it for him. The next week, Devontae has a bad day, but Aaron Jones wins it. The next week, Aaron Jones and Devontae aren't there, but Alan Lazard goes off for 120 yards and four touchdowns or something stupid. The next week, Tunyon goes off and wins it, right? The next week, MVS has his one good week of the season. So that's what what gets it going. And if you get more guys that are more consistent, you're just going to have more ability for that person to step in and win for that week. Whereas, again, MVS is like a once or twice a week, uh, twice a year guy, whereas Devontae's, you know, a 12 games a year kind of guy. If you can bump up MVS to having really good games six or seven times in a year, it's not great. It still doesn't make you a great player, but it would be much more helpful to the team. 